Clara, a beautiful 23-year-old, had recently moved to Sydney, Australia, influenced by her family. She saw it as a chance to start fresh in a city vastly different from where she had lived before. Everything was new. The people, the natural landscapes, the busy streets. With a little money from her parents, Clara settled into an apartment complex near a forest as it reminded her of home. One day, her new friend John mentioned that he had found a snake hiding in his closet and didn't know what to do. Luckily, he was speaking to the perfect person for the job. Clara eagerly offered to help John with his predicament and carefully remove the snake from his home. John warned her that the snake could be venomous and advised caution. Clara nodded confidently, reassuring him that she knew how to handle it, having experience with snakes back home. Together, they went to John's apartment and Clara quickly managed to get a hold of the snake. John was amazed at how calmly Clara handled the wild animal. Clara picked up the snake and walked towards the forest to release it. John paid her for the job, marking her first income since arriving in Sydney. She called home to share the news, and her parents congratulated her for finding her way out there. On the phone, her father said, I'm so proud of you, darling. Your life is really turning around for the better. Remember where you were just a few months ago. Be grateful that you aren't still there now. Clara's father had a point. Just a few months prior, Clara had been living with her husband near Kangaroo Valley, the place she grew up. Her father owned a cattle farm there and was also the town's very own snake catcher. Since she was little, Clara's father would bring her with him to catch snakes whenever people called him to remove the unexpected serpent guests from their homes or businesses. Eventually, Clara started to get used to the snakes and became very good at handling them. She knew a lot about snakes and wasn't frightened at all. Working as the only female snake catcher in the area, Clara received a lot of attention and soon became widely known for her talents. One day, Clara got a call from one of the hotels in town. Right under one of the bushes near the tennis courts, there was a large black snake. Clara arrived with her equipment, which consisted of nothing more than a big brown bag and snake tongs. Much to the relief of the guests, the young snake catcher was able to remove the snake with a few swift moves. All the guests who had scurried away and watched from a safe distance then applauded Clara. They were very impressed with her skills. One guest in particular was intrigued by the beautiful snake catcher. The very handsome man then approached Clara, introduced himself as Amir, and made a smooth move by asking her on a date to show his appreciation for what she had done. He didn't seem so interested in the snake-catching act, but more so in Clara for her beauty and radiance. Clara had been single all her life and was easily charmed by this mysterious, dark, handsome man. They ended up going on a few dates with each other. As Clara started to get to know Amir better, it turned out that he was from a very successful and famous family. Although Clara was a simple girl brought up on a farm, she appreciated the fancy gifts and luxurious experiences that Amir provided for her. Even with the changes in her relationship and life, Clara remained true to herself and still practiced the things that she loved, like snake catching. Although Amir admittedly thought it was a bit strange, he tried to accept her and not let it affect the relationship. Amir promised Clara and her family that they would never have to worry now that he was in the picture. If only that were true. When Clara and Amir got married, their relationship unfortunately took a turn for the worse. Amir started to pressure Clara to stop working with snakes. He said that it was not what people in their class did and it was embarrassing to him. Clara's pet snake, whom she had taken with her when she moved in with Amir, didn't like Amir and would snap at him whenever he was around. Although Clara wanted to make the relationship work, she also didn't want to sacrifice the one thing she really loved. One day, Amir threatened her that if she didn't get rid of the snakes, then she would be sorry. Clara was afraid of this side of Amir that she had never seen before. After the wedding, his real colors started to show, and he had a major anger problem that only seemed to get worse. One night, Amir came home completely intoxicated and started to curse at Clara. He blamed her for his failing business and said she was tarnishing the family's image with her snake catching. Clara tried to flee with her pet snake, but Amir caught her and hit her. 
Following this incident, Amir found more reasons for displaying his dominance over Clara on several occasions. Clara was devastated and scared for her life as the tension between the two grew bigger. Amir had a feeling that Clara was going to find a way to escape from him. He wanted total control over Clara, and if he couldn't have that, he was going to turn to extremes. One day, Amir spotted a plane ticket in Clara's purse, and he thought this would send him over the edge. They had a huge argument that lasted forever, but instead of doing what he had always done to Clara, Amir, being under the influence of alcohol once again, said, You know what? I'm sick and tired of this. I won't beg you to stay. Get out and take that filthy snake with you. That same night, Clara got on a plane to Sydney and never looked back. For the next few months, Clara continued her life in this new city, fascinated by the local wildlife and making new friends. She often shared stories of her snake-catching abilities and her pet snake with her friends, who were amazed by her talents. She even started volunteering at a local animal rescue center to gain more experience working with different types of animals. Unfortunately, tragedy struck one day when Clara's friend John received a call from Clara's landlord. They had found Clara's lifeless body in her apartment, and the cause of death was unknown. Clara's friends and family were devastated by the news and struggled to come to terms with the sudden loss of such a vibrant and talented young woman. Clara's pet snake was found unharmed, but there were no signs of foul play or forced entry into her apartment. It seemed as though Clara had simply passed away suddenly and unexpectedly. Amir, who was legally still her husband, showed up at the funeral and blamed Clara's death on the snake, telling them that it bit her and killed her with its venom. Clara's parents were distraught over the loss of their daughter, but found it hard to believe that her beloved snake could be the cause of death. They attended the funeral along with everyone else from town, but what they saw there was the last thing they ever expected. They laid Clara's body down into the grave and began to cover her with dirt when suddenly her pet snake appeared. Her father, knowing how much the snake was attached to Clara, allowed the animal to say its final goodbye. The serpent then wrapped itself around her arm. Amir, who stood nearby, suddenly said, Remove that vile creature from her. Clara's friends and family noticed something strange about her beloved pet snake. The usually docile creature seemed agitated and even aggressive, particularly towards Amir. Some of the attendees couldn't help but wonder if the animal's behavior was a sign of some underlying suspicion or unease, fueling speculation about what truly happened to Clara. But no one there touched the snake. Curious about the snake's behavior, Clara's father, unafraid of the serpent, touched his daughter's hand and was shocked to find it still warm. Quickly, he brushed the dirt off Clara and lifted her out of the grave. My daughter, are you there? Can you hear me? Please say something, he implored. Then, something incredible happened. To everyone's astonishment, Clara gasped for air and woke up. She had been alive the whole time. The crowd erupted in joy and disbelief, while Amir, horrified, fled the scene. Clara went home with her parents to recover. In the following weeks, the investigation continued. The police interviewed all of Clara's acquaintances, including her husband, whom they had managed to apprehend. Initially cooperative, Amir's story began to fall apart under scrutiny. Evidence revealed that he had been stalking Clara for months, sneaking into her apartment by claiming to be her husband, and had attempted to poison her. The jury found Amir guilty, and he was sentenced to life in prison for attempting to kill Clara. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.